Good evening and welcome to the 16th episode. 13 years ago, I moved back to India and I started working on large scale change initiatives. Initially, I was quite frustrated because many of the change initiatives failed to meet their goals. And when I researched this further, I found to my surprise that 90% of change and innovation initiatives failed to meet their goals. When I dug deeper, it turns out that Almost all change management initiatives use training and communication as the exclusive strategy with a one-size-fits-all approach. Maybe that's the problem. By some chance, I started reading Jeffrey Moore's brilliant book, Crossing the Chasm, in the year 2005, which was originally published in 1991. Jeffrey Moore came out with the breakthrough insight that many startups fail because they fail to cross the chasm between the early adopter community and the early majority community and he goes on to give techniques and strategies on how to cross the chasm. Jeffrey Moore added the chasm extending Everett Rogers model of the diffusion of innovation which is a landmark work that Dr. Rogers published in the year 1962. He was studying the adoption of new potato strains, seeds and so on and he came up with the curve that you see here which is called as the diffusion of innovation curve. I realized that Jeffrey Moore is talking about the change is mindset, innovator, early adopter, laggard that determines how well you adopt the innovation or change and that has to be accounted for. But I found an issue. I will give you an example. I am a printed book fanatic but I hate the Kindle. Even though I have never used the Kindle, I hate it. Isn't that interesting? Even before your change initiative starts, a few people have a negative opinion about it. But that's how the human mind works. Interestingly, the same me is also an enthusiast for social media technologies, blogging, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So the insight is that the change is mindset is not universal. An early adopter in one thing need not be an early adopter in another. And a laggard in one thing need not be a laggard in everything. I found these patterns within my own team and I was able to leverage it. So if you are running a Kindle initiator and you are targeting me, you might fail. With these insights, and I simplified the number of categories into a simple, what I call traffic light model. Green, yellow, and red. You initially go after the greens, which form about 20% of the population. Establish the value hypothesis. Show that your change initiative is valuable. And use that to cross to the yellows and reds. Now, sometimes you might need a growth hypothesis optionally. That's why I put it in dotted line. In the previous episode, we showed how Facebook used both value and growth hypothesis to scale massively. Whereas we can see that Twitter is kind of stuck where they are at because they haven't yet managed to cross the chasm. Now Kumaran looked at it and he came up with the insight that when you look at a change from an effort or complexity perspective, you have the same traffic light model, easy, medium, or hard. And we advocate that you go after the easy components first with the green enthusiasts, build momentum, and then scale the initiative. These are the exact principles that we use for the managed innovation program and the one cognizant program which were transformative within cognizant. With that, I thank you all for listening to my coverage of Jeffrey Moore's Crossing the Chasm.